mixed boundary condition. So a mixed boundary condition is simply just, uh, for example, on the left hand side boundary, we have du, uh, du dx plus, let's say, au equal to b. So we are mixing Newman and Dirichlet boundary condition. Okay, and uh, uh, it's an interesting case because like the way you derive it is uh, g times this uh, dx integrated equal to zero and uh, uh, you do integrate by parts you get g times the first order derivative of x at zero and one so, so let's say this is at, at x equal to zero and uh, uh, u is equal to zero at x equal to one so so let's only treat one side so what you get is this minus the usual usual symmetric term in the weak form uh, dg dx du dx and uh, the usual candidate in the linear functional okay so what you see is that at x equal to 1, this term naturally goes away because uh, you are enforcing a uh, Dirichlet boundary condition on the right. But on the left hand side, it's g times du dx at x equal to 0. Now from this boundary condition, du dx is actually equal to b minus au, right? It's b minus au at x equal to 0. So let's add all of this together uh, minus this. So now this is my weak form. Right, so this equal to 0 is my new weak form. So now if I want to write it in terms of a uh, bilinear form uh, and a linear functional is equal to 0, can somebody help me identify does the boundary condition change the weak form yes does it change the linear functional does it change the bilinear form yes right it changes everything so so my a now becomes this part plus this times this part right i actually get uh, one more term in my a and uh, I also get one more term in my in my L. Uh, sorry, L of parentheses G. I I also get one more term in my L. So so a boundary condition can actually change both the bilinear functional uh, bilinear form and linear function. All right. And some people actually uh, goes all the way to categorize uh, uh, the boundary conditions into essential and natural. The essential boundary condition actually just uh, you are restricting the space. You are giving less degree of freedoms to what the function can be. So in this in Poisson's equation, essential boundary condition just means Dirichlet boundary conditions. Natural boundary conditions are the type of boundary conditions you enforce naturally. Uh, it doesn't mean like you don't need to change the weak form, right? You may have to change the weak form, but after you modify what the weak form is, then whatever boundary condition you want to enforce is then satisfied naturally, just the coming out of the weak form. So, so essential boundary condition, you work, work on your x, work on your space, and the natural boundary conditions, you do some work on your a uh, your a and b your a and l okay so this is uh, uh when you see the, the language of essential and natural boundary condition this is what it means so for for natural boundary condition you don't change your space you may need to modify your weak form and then it is naturally satisfied essential means you need to make a smaller space